The dangerous triple weather threat as we head into this weekend. Severe storms from the plains to the east coast. Powerful thunderstorms lighting up the sky in Birmingham, Alabama. And 51 large wildfires burning in the west, forcing thousands to evacuate the mountain fire there, destroying several homes. And our team is now tracking a new system off Florida that could become a tropical depression. Here's ABC's senior meteorologist, Rob Marciano. Tonight, that strong front triggering more damaging and dangerous weather. A swimmer struck by lightning in North Carolina. This after severe storms tore through the New York metro area Thursday night. On Long Island, winds gusting above 60 miles per hour, toppling trees and knocking out power to thousands. The wall of this storage facility collapsing as the system moved through, cinder blocks crashing down onto the parking lot. You see the many cars that were damaged here knocking out the windows. And at the Mets Indians game, fans warned to shelter in covered areas. The game called early in the eighth inning after two rain delays, totaling more than three hours. Outside Phoenix, authorities aiding more than three dozen hikers after several were overcome by heat. In Northern California, more than 500 personnel battling the mountain fire, already burning at least 600 acres amid dry and gusty conditions. A thousand homes threatened with no rain in the forecast for at least a week. Okay, so let's get right to Rob with the forecast. Hi, Rob. Hi, Cecilia. You know, this front that caused all that weather is barely making it past the Mason-Dixon line. Typical August stuff, but we have severe thunderstorm watches again tonight on the radar. You can see it in Virginia and North Carolina with a number of warnings as well. Now, the back end of this front kind of snakes into the high plains. We've got severe thunderstorm watches there up until 10 o'clock local time, just east of Denver. Some heavy rain with these as well as they push into the flash flood watches. Of what might be greater concern are the tropical features in the Atlantic. One way out there, one real close, just off the shore of Miami. That one, we think, the National Hurricane Center is saying it's probably going to become a depression or a name storm over the weekend and then skirt the coastlines of Georgia and the Carolinas with at the very least wind, heavy rain and big time waves and it will be uncomfortably close to the coastlines of those states. We'll have to watch it very carefully. Cecilia. Busy weekend for you and the team. Okay, Rob. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.